Facebook did not read the terms and conditions for the app that harvested data from more than 87 million Facebook users. That's what the company's chief technical officer, Mike Schrepfer, told a British Parliament committee during his hearing Thursday. He also said it was a, quote, mistake that the company didn't notify users earlier than it did. Facebook profits showed no damage from the recent data scandals. It reported a 63 percent rise in profit and increase in users Wednesday. Jennifer Greigel is an assistant professor at Syracuse University's Newhouse School of Public Communications. And Jennifer joins me now from Syracuse. Welcome, Professor. What Hello. might it indicate about how Facebook manages users' data that the company did not read the app's terms and conditions? Again, the hearings that have taken place in the United States and now over in the U.K. have really shown how the company is being run. Uh, what we saw unveiled today about just the, these details about not even reading the terms of service, again, are showing us how the company is being run. And this wasn't just likely an issue for one app. This is likely going to be uh, the same case for many, many apps that have been set up on this uh, platform. Well, Parliament said that the next time Mark Zuckerberg visits, he will have to answer questions. What do you make of this? Uh, I think that uh, Mark Zuckerberg has shown a lack of accountability in the U.K. Um, he did have to show up here in the United States, but remember, this is a United States-based company. Uh, the global headquarters are here. He lives here. He's an American. Uh, I think he's being uh, dodgy, uh, to borrow a British term, uh, over in the U.K. That is very British. Uh, well, Facebook's profits seem largely unaffected by the data scandal. Why do you think that is? Sure. The scandal kind of came late in the quarter, so we'll see in the next quarter if their earnings and the user growth is really impacted. But again, Facebook is super large. It's not going anywhere. Um, this issue is not going to uh, fix itself. So what we really need is more accountability uh, on behalf of the company. We need more questions coming in um, from Parliament and the United States Congress. Uh, we need them to stay on top of this and for our regulators to take a close look at this company. Well, how can users ensure the company begins to take necessary steps to protect their data despite the fact that the scandal made no financial impact on the company? Sure. I mean, again, I think people are getting educated on how to, you know, control their privacy settings better, but we can't, we can't uh, expect every end user to, to do that. We really need uh, privacy to be uh, governed by our legislative bodies uh, and for clear terms and service uh, conditions to be in place, for user interface, uh, you know, kind of guidance to be in place. Uh, otherwise, these companies will be designing their products in ways that lead people to give away more and more private information. Well, Mike Schrepfer also told Parliament the company would better label political ads. Here's a bit of that. So I think one of the concerns has been raised is what if an advertiser is targeting just this segment of the audience? And that's why, literally in June, you will be able to see for any particular advertiser the entire spectrum of ads they're running at this moment in time and who, who they're advertising them against. And we're going further for political ads because we understand how important it is. And we're releasing extensive information about those political ads, including who they were trying to reach, how much they spent, how many times they were viewed, very detailed information about the political campaigns. And this is the work we're doing uh, in time prior to the UK election in 2019. How does this compare to the steps the company said it would take in dealing with political advertisements in the U.S.? Sure, it aligns, I think, with where the company is heading. Uh, I just can't believe that they hadn't already done this. And they really were exploiting uh, a regulatory environment that, that didn't have a lot of requirements for them. So in the absence of this regulatory oversight, uh, we end up with self-regulation where they, they didn't really control for this around political elections. So I do hope that, again, Congress uh, here in the United States and over in the Parliament in the U.K. and other places around the world, that they, they really put some regulation regulation in place to hold them accountable because we can't trust that they're going to have an effective system for political ads. Jennifer Greigel, professor, thanks very much for your perspective. Thank you.